This is the plaintiff, Amber Perez Toledo. She says the defendant is the ex-wife of her husband, Caesar, and she moved in with them, and the ingrate owes them money for rent, utilities, and furniture, and refuses to pay. She has no other choice but to sue, and is doing just that today. For the $4,913.59, she says she's owed. This is the defendant, Tanya Gonzalez Perez. She says the living situation wasn't ideal, but they got into this arrangement for the sake of their kids. She can't believe the plaintiff is actually suing her for rent. It's one thing after another, and she just wants to move on from this whole situation. She's accused of freeloading. All parties, please raise your right hand. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Malian is now presiding. Litigants have been sworn. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Ms. Perez Toledo, you are suing your, oh, let's get this right, your husband's ex-wife, Ms. Gonzalez Perez, correct? Yes, Judge. Out of a living situation that you all had that kind of went a little bit sour. Tell me what happened. Okay, so Tanya moved in with us in 2016, um, the end of the year, because uh, she was ev uh, evicted from her previous house. And like she said, for the sake of the children, I offered her to move in with me. Um, it was supposed to be a few, few months for her to get on her feet, um, to save up enough money and get a new home. It turned out to be three and a half years. Um, towards okay, the end- Okay, that's so weird to everyone else that you would oh. have your husband's ex-wife move in with you. I mean, we do a lot for our children, but that seems like a little above and beyond, and uh, I, especially for three years. So what exactly was going on there? I mean, that, it's bizarre to me. What, why did this go on for three years? It wasn't supposed to be three years, Your Honor. Um, it was supposed to be for her to get on her feet. So I got to a point where things, the situation just got worse and worse and worse. So it was time for me, you know, I, I didn't want to live in the situation anymore. So my husband and I started looking for a home. Um, okay, can I ask you, where, did you guys get along or did you not get along? Or was it, what was, what was unbearable about the situation other than the obvious? Because the obvious would stop me from moving in with her, but it didn't stop you. So what was so unbearable? What was the problem? So at first we did get along. You know, we, we did what we had to do as a, a large family. Um, we did the best we could. Um, and uh, it's the obvious. Obviously, you know, it was a really awkward situation to begin with. Uh, it didn't get any better. And then, if I'm going to be honest with you, Tanya doesn't cook. She doesn't clean. Um, I was the bearer of all that. And it was really difficult to sit there and clean for nine people and cook for nine people. Um, on top of, it, it, It's a whole bunch. I can go on for years and tell you a whole bunch of different stories. It just it didn't work. It wasn't, it wasn't a good living relationship for either of us. Um, or more so for the kids. And it was a confusing, and it was just a, it was not a good living situation. So uh, we started looking for a home. We found a home. Um, so we moved out, and my husband was picking up the kids every day while Tanya works. Um, we started noticing that the girls would come home o over to his house. We, they were dirty. They smelled like cigarettes. We'd bathe them. They were always hungry. Um, when we came back in, there was a rat infestation. There was rat feces everywhere. Uh, the daughter Angelina walked over to the stove with a baño and or a sponge and wiped all the poop off the the stove onto the floor. I was mortified. Um, all right, let me ask you a question. The house that Ms. Uh, Gonzalez Perez was living in with you belongs to whom? My aunt. And you ha and your aunt is part of this lawsuit. You have power of attorney to represent her here today, and that's why you're suing for rent. But tell me what happens. You're suing for May rent and June rent. And what happened in May and June of uh, 2019? In, in April of 2019, um, DCF got involved and removed the kids from Tanya for neglect. Who called DCF on her? Six different people. It wasn't six uh, different people. people. It was the, the school. school did, the therapist if you did. Don't know, the if therapist. you don't know about it, then shut up. Anyways, when that happened, the stress of that, for her, along with the fact that the house was, you know, she, so she had gotten these cats and dogs and there was feces everywhere. There was urine everywhere. The house stunk. You couldn't go to the front door without smelling it. Um, it was just a dirty living environment. So the kids got removed the stress from that. And I think the living conditions caused her to go into a coma. She got sick. And um, 
when she got sick, my husband and I and my husband's family went to the house and we cleaned it for her. And um, we, I, I, I submitted all those pictures to you. I don't know if you want me to pull them up for you. Um, we cleaned the house for her so that she wouldn't 100% lose the kids. Um, we also got an ex parte at that time as well to, um, for residential custody. And then, um, so she didn't pay the, the, the one month because she had gone to the coma. And then she, when she woke up from the coma, she went to go live with her brother. And she, I, I don't think she really knew for sure what she was going to do right yet. I think the doctors had told her not to come back to the house, something like that. And so she just didn't come Why? back. She had been what was wrong with the unit. house? Uh, I think because of her health conditions. I, she'd have to answer that, Judge. I don't know exactly what they told her, to be honest with I'd you. I'd like her to answer, answer that. Ms. Gonzalez Perez, what happened with your health in May of 2019? I have an autoimmune disease. I have fibromyalgia. And with the state of the house, they told me that they didn't want me going back there by myself. I would be living in the and house essentially alone. And they didn't want that. But because, okay, but it, what's the state of the house everybody keeps referring to? What's wrong with the house? Well, Amber states that this just happened miraculously when they moved out. You know, there was this rat infestation. No, there was this mouse and that turned into a rat infestation long before they moved out. Okay, okay. so it's not something that was new to them. And so All that right. way you understand a little bit better about the whole situation. The reason why we moved in together was because Amber and I both were losing our places to live. And we figured Caesar came up with an idea. And at that time, Caesar was married to me. We didn't get divorced until September of 2018. So the entire oh time God. we lived in that house, he was married to me. <laughs> Not the entire time. Well, that makes it even weirder. That makes it even stranger and more uncomfortable for everybody. How'd that work out for okay. the kids? The kids, the younger kids barely knew anything different. It's the older kids that it, it affected. It truly affected. They ended up with things like anxiety and depression and things of that nature. Okay. So um, what was wrong with the house besides the rat infestation? My understanding is that there was mold problem. There was a severe mold problem from coming from the basement. The basement waterlogged completely. Black mold everywhere. And that was, okay. that was and just not you, conducive. What, you went into the hospital with what? A severe roaring pneumonia. How long were you in a coma, Ms. Gonzalez Perez? For a week. Wow. I mean, so you are suing for rent from May and June of 2019 on behalf of your aunt. And I'm just kind of curious what, what happened to make you file this lawsuit two years later, why now? Um, I'll give you three reasons, Judge. Uh, the first reason is I wanted to give her ample time because I know she has a situation, she's just being by herself, and I think it was fair to her to give her that ample time. Um, the second reason is, is because um, she stole money from us, and Excuse I'm tired me? of her playing the victim. Yes, that's what I said. Um, How did she steal money the victim. from you? So, we had, like I said, we had residential custody of the girls in 2019. We had all three girls in 2019 to 2020. She claimed the two younger kids, Melody and Isabella, both in 2019 and 2020, kept those tax money and kept the stimulus money for all of them. She, has to pay, she paid child support for four times in two years and then took the, child's, took the stimulus money that we just got like two weeks ago and paid off the child support because my husband put in, her in for contempt. And then said, she well, I had to because I, I, I had a problem. First of all, I've been claiming my children since they were born. Okay. They Secondly, don't live with you. you have no right. Yeah, but if you're not, Secondly, if you don't have custody of them, you, stop a second. If you don't have custody of them, you're not, you can't claim that you're supporting them. If someone else is supporting them, then have, the children are their tax deduction. Are you suggesting that you were providing fifty percent of the support for those children? Not completely. No. Okay, well, then you're not supposed not to claim the deduction. Know. But I'm not here. But, all right, everybody stop, though. I'm not here. I, I wanted to know why I was here, and no, that may be why I'm really here. But let's discuss what's on the table business. right now. Oh, by the way, where, where is uh, your husband, Ms. Paris Toledo? He didn't want to be here? He is working. He's a sole provider for us because it's just us, and he's working for to provide. Okay. I, I bet he'd rather be anywhere other than here anyway. <laughs> because I'd have some good questions for him about this whole thing. <laughs> now, let's discuss, let's discuss rent in May and rent in June. 
You feel that you do not owe that. Why, Ms. Gonzalez Perez? I maybe owe May because that was the month I was released from the hospital the first, second week of May. And I can sit there and say, you know what? Okay, well, I didn't give her ample enough time. So, okay, if you want to charge me May, I can sit there and say, yeah, I can concede to that. But June, no. Okay. Uh, did you have a lease in that house or no? You were on a month to month. No, I, no, I did not. It's the one that you signed on to get food stamps and to get the kids into school, Tanya. Or were you popping too many pills to remember that? Wow, Amber, really? You want to go there? I did it until you sold the stimulus and taxes. Okay, everybody stop. Is this your signature, Ms. Gonzalez Perez? Yes, it is. Okay, well, that's, that is a lease from 2016. Do you have a lease that would cover 2019, which is the year that we're talking about, Ms. Perez Toledo? That, that was all encompassing. It was a month to month to cover the whole time that she was there because she wasn't supposed to be there oh, for so two and a half Oh, so it years. is a month to month. All right, well, well, but that's fine. So it's a month to month. So why isn't she right that she would only have to give you one month of, she didn't give you notice, so she's giving you one month notice now. Why isn't that right? She never gave us any notice. And, and it was the end of the month when she moved no. out. And so the house was left vacant. I gave it to Caesar. Caesar the, knew. The house Caesar kind of put her then. in the hospital, yeah. didn't it? No, her not cleaning the house put her in the hospital. So you say. Not cleaning the house. All right, let's look at the pictures. So you say. Let's look at the pictures. Oh, that pictures will prove it. I don't have to say anything. The proof is there. These are pictures of what? That is feces on a blanket. Feces and urine. How many animals were living there? Two. Two cats. More than two. What? No, it was just two cats. And Bea. And Draco. Bea wasn't living with me. Draco wasn't living okay, with me. What you is, guys took him. What is this that I'm looking at? That is the mattress that I also claimed. And yeah, the mess. What happened to the mattress? She didn't clean her sheets, so she used to sleep on her bed with no, no, no sheets. She smoked, and cats, and dogs, and, and rats, and you name it. I don't know. Oh, my God. Amber, please. What happened please, to this bed, Ms. Ms. Gonzalez Perez? What happened to this bed? That what bed, does it look like that? Your Honor, originally was old to begin with. Okay. Very old. Okay. Yes. What there happened were times to it, I though? I didn't put a sheet on my bed, but there wasn't, as far as me smoking, really. And animals were not allowed in my bed. The animals didn't even come into my room. Is this a picture of your, how your refrigerator looks? That refrigerator was broken, Your Honor, and that refrigerator broke when they were living in the house. That's not true. I bought that refrigerator. Yes, it is. I put it in there. Yeah, when we first moved in. That's feces. And that's garbage. What is that you this? Just, you all piled up. That uh, is the floor that's rotted with mold. That's the floor that's rotted with Is this in the basement? No, that is behind the refrigerator. Well, they fit the refrigerator out because it was broken when we cleaned the house. This was in the process of us cleaning. We took these pictures. Did you move her out when you cleaned the house or no? Yes and no to that, if I can explain. Um, she came back one time after her, um, she got out of her coma and she picked up some of her stuff from her room. And then I asked her three times, do you want anything? Because now's the time to take it. Otherwise, it's all going to go in the trash. And she says, I don't want anything. I said, I'm asking you more time because I don't want a problem later on. She said she didn't want anything. It all went into the trash. She took nothing but a few items from her room. But it wasn't a lot of things. It was like my dresser, which I'm claiming. Um, I think a table and chairs. Do you she owe her, her any money, Ms. Pe Ms. Gonzalez Perez? Do you owe her any money for the dresser? Maybe half. Because I do believe I paid her $75 towards it. Is that accurate, Ms. Perez? No, I'm Toledo? pretty sure it was 50 No, it wasn't. So then what, so why, it, you're not giving her any credit for the money that she did pay you? No, I did because um, I had it sold for two hundred dollars. We agreed on two hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure she gave me fifty. So then I am suing her for the one fifty difference of the fifty she gave me. If she could prove a seventy five, then fine. But I'm pretty sure it was fifty. And that's the dresser. The dumpster rental. When did you rent a dumpster? Uh, I'm gonna look at the date on the receipt, Your Honor, because I don't remember exactly. She rented. My aunt rented the dumpster. Seven twenty two nineteen. Uh, mm -hmm. She hired a dumpster. Why? Uh, she had put the paperwork in. There was a lot of stuff that was left behind. There was the dressers. Okay. There was the mattresses. And in the garage, there was a whole bunch of bins and stuff like that. Uh, the refrigerator had to get t thrown out as well. How old was that mattress? 
I had just bought it. Well, I had bought it a few months before. I had Show me a out. receipt. I don't have a receipt, Your Honor. I bought it used. But it was not nasty. Okay. Based on what I've heard, I find as follows. I agree with the defendant that she, as she concedes, she should have to pay for May um, because of no notice. But that's sufficient. She doesn't also have to pay for June. I am going to order her to pay a portion of the cleaning fee, a portion of the dumpster, and the remainder of the dresser, and an estimated amount for a used mattress, which you have to understand is not very much at all. And that total comes to $1,875 verdict for the plaintiff. Good luck, ladies. Thank you. Ms. Gonzalez Perez, the defendant, uh, what do you think about the judge's decision? It was fair. Uh, all right, so you're okay with that? Yep. Very good. All right, Ms. Perez Toledo, well, it certainly was a most unusual uh, living situation. That's all over now, is that right? Am I right about oh, that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you won't do that again, I assume. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, long time, no. You? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right, that'll wrap Have up a good this day. amazing case. No kidding. All right, Harvey, what do you think about this one? Doug, look, I mean, <laughs> this is just such a bizarre case uh, where this woman is moving in with the ex and all that. But it, the rule should be universal, that when you... Um, have a situation where somebody moves in and you expect them to pay money. You got to put it in writing and you got to do it up front. I mean, even if it's uncomfortable, what's more uncomfortable? Getting it in writing or not getting in writing and ending up in court? I think you can answer that. Do you keep read receipts on? Do you share your location with each other? Marilyn? Do you know what read receipts is? No, but I'm dying to learn. So you, tell me uh, what read receipts So is. you have a setting in your phone, which if you turn it on, others will know if you read their text. And I didn't respond immediately or something? Correct. Oh, my God. So you, you would, I would never keep read receipts on. Is there some kind of a counter spell? Yeah, turn, turn it off. That way people don't. And then you've always got the excuse. Oh, you know, I was busy. I didn't read oh it. Oh, my you know? gosh. Yeah. Okay, and the other, the other issue is... Do you keep track of each other's locations? We do. With these you devices? and I, we, I yeah. that's a secret to a happy you marriage. You have a low jack on me, and I have a low jack on you. So right. we follow each other. You don't really care where I am. I, I constantly care where you are. So you either play a lot of golf or you're seeing somebody at the golf club. Right. Yeah, it's right. one or the other. You're having an affair with someone in the golf club because every time I track you, I'm like, what is he right. doing? Dude, you, you can't sure possibly, yeah. you know, the only who time, is where. The only time it really becomes a problem is... If you want to shop for something as a surprise for me and go to a particular place, or if I want to do that for you. So if it's ever turned off yeah, on me, yeah, it just that, means I'm shopping for Oh, you. is that what it is? <laughs> right. <laughs> or, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Uh, okay. Uh, no? <laughs> no. All right, all right.